You know, COVID-19 dominated much of this election. It hijacked many campaign strategies, and no matter who wins tonight, COVID-19 remained at the top of so many people's minds, and the pandemic still continues. It was important. Before the pandemic, it was climate change, and then since the pandemic, you know, the mishandling of that has also tied in. So it's both of those things together for me. As millions head to the polls on election day, a global pandemic continues to sit on the minds of so many. It is a virus that has killed nearly 232,000 Americans to date. According to Johns Hopkins University, the U.S. is averaging more than 80,000 new cases of COVID-19 a day. You can't ignore it. I mean, all the surveys and polls indicate that the economy is the number one issue. But the economy is so connected to the COVID-19, you can't separate it. Before the pandemic, a growing economy was touted by President Donald Trump's campaign as one of his biggest selling points. Though now, that overshadowed by a virus that won't quit. We look to government, no matter what your political outlook is, you look to government to solve problems. And thus far, the Trump administration has really struggled to get their hands around this pandemic. The 2020 race has very much been defined by the pandemic. Even with the president being diagnosed with COVID-19 himself, messages between Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden starkly different on the campaign trail. We're making the turn. Thank you for wearing your mask and thank you for the social distancing. Even public health officials warn the outcome of this election and which side wins will have a deep impact to fighting back the coronavirus. If we do not better manage it than we are right now, there will be major consequences, including further major disruption of society brought about because of the mismanagement. Recent threats to the jobs of federal health officials like Dr. Anthony Fauci, Dr. Hilton says, are not helpful. Also important, countering his own views on the campaign trail, one of President Trump's leading coronavirus advisors, Dr. Deborah Burks, warning of a new and deadly phase in the pandemic.